Tom Holland is one of, if not the youngest star actor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He was doing tours and promotions with big, big names like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Benedict Cumberbatch, and so many more. Yet, he always manages to stand out and create a unique impression. Now, he's not a typical macho male celebrity. Neither does he have as robust of a professional career record as opposed to so many of his co-stars. So we thought it would be interesting to understand what really makes Tom Holland so charming, so likable and makes him stand out in a room full of alphas. Okay, the very first point is something known as the humble teens. Being one of the younger people in the MCU, usually when they go on tours, promotions and interviews, Tom Holland is made fun of by his co-stars and the audience all in good faith, I'm assuming. And he takes all these jokes very sportingly, but sometimes he does give it back to them. He always follows up the tease with a laugh to let the other person know that he's just joking around as well. I need to watch this movie. You ever seen Spider Man Home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I haven't seen the Falcon. Oh no, there isn't one. Sorry. <laughs> Here's another example of an audience member making fun of Tom Holland for being a person who tends to spoil a lot of movies. And watch how he responds. Did you know that the whole time that you were going to die at the end of Avengers or did you lie the whole press tour saying you knew nothing and you actually kept a spoiler for once? <laughs> It's an incredibly passive-aggressive question. I knew I was going to die when I filmed my death scene, genius. <laughs> now, as opposed to that, watch how Anthony Mack responds when a fan makes fun of him. Just to point out to Anthony and Seb, Tom Holland here is the only one who actually has his own movie. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Things are getting hostile. Avenge that comment, man. <laughs> um, first of all, first of all, last time I checked, the movie was called The Winter Soldier. Well played. Right? 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 Yeah, it was. And I guess them little two Academy Award nominated movies I did don't mean nothing. <laughs> See the difference? One makes it seem like, okay, you're joking with me and I'm giving it back to you, all in good faith. The other makes it seem like, I took offense to what you're saying and I'm giving it back to you, so you better shut up. But we can take jokes sportingly and give it back to people again in a fun manner. It makes us seem a lot more confident and comfortable with who we really are. Okay, point number two is playing the beta. Even though Tom Holland has a very critical role in the Marvel movies and he is a very critical superhero, he's Spider-Man for God's sake, he is still very, very humble in front of his co-stars. When they make fun of him, he doesn't try to one-up them or try to be better than them. Instead, he understands that they are his seniors, not just in age, but also from a career standpoint. And instead of competing with them, he shows so much more respect. Them. Why are you answering your phone in the middle of an interview? Because it's you. Yeah, if it right. was my mom, I'd be like, mm, no. <laughs> but it's Robert Downey Jr. So you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll see what's happening. As I said before, probably because he's the younger one, they do tend to make fun of him. But he very rarely gives it back to them or tries to put anyone down. And it's just self-awareness that regardless of the success that he's achieving, to still be respectable to the people around him, even when they are constantly teasing him. And that humility is what makes him so likable. Next point, doubling down. When Holland is caught in a situation that might prove to be embarrassing, instead of trying to hide it, he will double down on it and showcase it. Watch this clip for instance. Oh yeah. So Zendaya would land and I'm the superhero. I'm supposed to look cool. <laughs> and she would land and then I would sort of land like this and my feet would swing from underneath me and then she would catch me. Like <laughs> <laughs> and then be like, cut! I'm like, oh, I'm not doing 
<laughs> Now this could have been perceived as an embarrassing story but not only did Tom openly narrate it but also act it out and it's this aspect of him being his complete self that really makes him stand out even when he's walking among such stars and this neatly segues into our next point which is his humble ability to be himself and the reason i say humble is because from what we've seen of him he's not someone who says I'm going to do whatever the hell I want and I don't care what you think. Instead, he's himself but he's still modest about it and he's still kind of embarrassed but he's still not hiding it. I hope I'm making sense. Just watch this clip and you'll probably understand what I mean. Cry a lot. <laughs> Starts crying now. No, I don't cry that much. I cry like all the time. Yeah. Anyway, he is an emotional and sensitive guy, and instead of being more like his co-stars, he chooses to just amplify his own personality. And of course, there are haters for him as well, but it's these subtle communication skills that really make his on-screen persona what it is. Now, there are a lot more things that Tom Holland does that make him like this. And if you want to know some more body language aspects that you can use to be more effective with your non-verbal communications, I highly recommend you check out this video right here.